In this clip we're going to demonstrate how to set up a balloon loan. We're going to start up with the spreadsheet that we use for our amortized loan with 0%. And I'll right click on the sheet tab, choose move or copy sheet, move this to the end and create a copy. I'm going to rename that new copy, call it my balloon loan. And walk through kind of the steps that uh, what exactly a balloon loan is. So first couple things is before we had the amount of our loan, so we just typed in something like $10,000, made it for four years, I'm going to change the payments per year back to just one, so we have one annual payment. For now I'm going to leave the rate as 0%. And my number of payments is four, the periodic payment $2,500, in other words 10,000 divided by four, total paid and no interest. So I've got four payments here, so what I need to do is delete out all the other ones that we had from our monthly payments. So I'm going to highlight all of those rows. I'm just holding my shift key down and cursoring down. I'll right click on any one of these row numbers and hit delete. Control home and I'm back to home and that's kind of the setup for the balloon loan. So we'll just save this. All right, what a balloon loan basically is, is rather than paying off money on the principal each period, what you do is you only pay the interest. So in the case of a 0% loan, our payment is going to be 0 for the first year, 0 for the next year, 0 for the third year, and then finally the last payment we pay off the balance of our loan, the $10,000. Hence the idea of a, a big balloon loan, one big payment at the beginning. Well, certainly this would be a, a great loan choice if, if you didn't have to pay any interest. You can borrow the money for four years. You don't pay it back for four years later. Looks pretty good, you know, a little bit better than what we had before. But let's assume that for the interest rate, we pay 10%. So for my interest payment, that's going to equal whatever we have on balance. I should say my payment is going to be whatever I have on balance times the interest rate, and I'm just going to give that an absolute reference, divided through by the payments per year. So in this case, it's just going to be the balance times 10%, I should get $1,000. Um, but later, if we were doing this monthly, we'd have to divide by 12. That's why we divide through by that rate. I'll put in my parentheses. You know, what I should do is I should put a dollar sign between the B and the 3. So when I copy this down, we'll also have an absolute reference to it. And I need to widen out my interest column here, so you can see the thousand dollars. So my payment is a thousand, the interest is a thousand, I'm not paying off any of the principal, and my balance is still ten thousand. In other words, it's equal to the previous balance minus the interest rate. So that formula didn't change. I'll copy this down for the next two years. So I'll make another thousand dollar payment, another thousand dollar payment, and finally for the last payment what we have to do is we'll make another thousand dollar payment but we also have to add into it the original balance that we had or the original amount of money that we borrowed. So for that last payment we've got to make this kind of large balloon payment of the principal plus the interest. We pay the lending agency, be it um, a bank or a credit union or something that's charging us this. We pay them back a thousand dollars principal is 10,000 and finally after four years our balance is zero. So you kind of comparing this to what we had before with our amortized loan and let's change that one back to a annual basis just so we can do some comparisons here. I'm highlighting my rows going to delete those so right click and delete. So before we paid a total of $10,000 because there was no interest, principal paid was $10,000. On a balloon loan, 
at a 10% interest rate, we're paying back a total of 14000 Four of it is an in interest, and the principal is $10,000.